Afar they stand, yet near to me they stand, some with oval countenances, learned and calm, some naked and savage, some like huge collections of insects, some intense, herdsmen, patriarchs, tribes, horsemen, some prowling through woods, some living peaceably on farms, laboring, reaping, filling barns, some traversing paved avenues amid temples, palaces, factories, libraries, shows, courts, theaters, wonderful monuments. Are those billions of men really gone? Are those women of the old experience of the earth gone? Do their lives, cities, arts rest only with us? Did they achieve nothing for good for themselves? I believe of all those men and women that filled the unnamed lands, every one exists this hour, here or elsewhere, invisible to us, in exact proportion to what he or she grew from in life, and out of what he or she did, felt, became, loved, sinned in life. I believe that was not the end of those nations or any person of them. Any more than this shall be the end of my nation, or of me, of their languages, governments, marriage, literature, products, games, wars, manners, crimes, prisons, slaves, heroes, poets. I suspect their results curiously await in the yet unseen world, counterparts of what accrued to them in the seen world. I suspect I shall meet them there. I suspect I shall there find each old particular of those unnamed lands.